Hello, this is the Daihon Nashi A Kaiwa Lesson Podcast, and today is an English only episode. So, if you're interested in improving your English listening, and also if you want some information about American culture, I'm American, so I talk about America, or about Japan, I'm living in Japan, so I talk about Japan, or if you just want some new phrases, vocabulary, etc., keep listening. For announcements, please follow me and Sota. He's the co host for the bilingual episodes. Please follow us at Daihon Nashi A Kaiwa Lesson. It's, well, you can find the links for those social media in the descriptions. So look in the descriptions, click the links. We have Facebook and Twitter for the Daihon Nashi A Kaiwa Lesson. And for us, for me, it's Nate Sensei. That's Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. And Sota, Ego no Sota. That's his handle, Ego no Sota. You can find him at Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Oh, and we both have YouTube, so you can find us here. Okay, let's get started with this episode. All right, so what's the topic for today? It is four comedy recommendations for English learners. Okay, it's kind of hard for me to recommend comedy to you guys because the comedy that I like, it might have a lot of slang, they might use bad words, it might be too sexual, too crazy, whatever. But I tried to choose four recommendations today that are not too crazy, but that I really like. So I can definitely recommend them 100%. So we're going to start with a movie, then after that, a TV show, then a talk show, and finally, a comedian. So we're going to get all four of those recommendations. Okay, let's start with the first one. Do you know what a fraternity is? A fraternity. 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 Yeah, I'm American, so I say fraternity. Fraternity. So the T changes to a D, but yeah, it's fraternity. Do you know what it is? I don't know if we talked about this on a different episode, but we might have. It's F R A T E R. N I T Y, fraternity. So, this first recommendation,、uh, the story is about, well, it's related to a fraternity. So, a fraternity is a kind of group of college boys, college students, and they're men. And they live in the same house, and the younger ones are kind of lower, l- lower level. They have to Work, they have to like maybe do the cleaning, they have to do lots of stuff for the older guys. The older guys are kind of in charge, they're the bosses. And it's it's taken from like a Greek society, so it's it's called it's called a fraternity, but it's it's kind of this Greek life. Greek is G R E E K, Greek, so it's it's the country Greece. I think it's taken from a long time in the past when. In Greek society, they must have, have had this kind of club of men, and they, they're in this, like, kind of like a team or a club or something, but they live together. Anyways, it's called a fraternity, and this first comedy recommendation relates to a fraternity. The story is okay, well, first, I should probably tell you what the movie is called, right? The name of the movie is Old School. Old School. O L D. S C H O O L, old school. So I don't know why it's called old school. I guess you could imagine like、uh, it's like old people going back to school, kind of. That's kind of the story. So, what happens in the story? What's it about? It's about a few middle aged men. Middle aged means like 30, 40, 50 years old. Probably around 40 would be perfectly middle aged. I'm 33. I don't really think I'm middle aged yet.、Um, but 
Some people might say it. Anyways, it's about these middle aged men. Of course, they're not in college anymore, but they have problems with their wives or they're not happy with their regular lives. And then one of the middle aged men, he, I think he divorces his wife and then he has to live like in a separate house. So he gets a new house without his wife. And that house is in the same area as a university, a college. So at the college, like around the college, there's lots of these fraternities, which are the young boys clubs who are in college. And what happens is, I think the teacher or the kind of the principal or the leader of the college visits his house and he says, You can't live here unless you. Go to the school, or you're related to the school. And so they're like, oh man. Or so the middle aged guy, he's like, oh, I have to leave this house. But his friends, they want to keep the house because they want to have like a men's only place to relax and drink beer and hang out. So they decide to start a fraternity. <laughs> so that's the, that's the comedy part about it. It's like 40 year old men, but they're doing this. Young, you know, college boys club where they have to like get, they have to get the young college students, and then the young college students have to do these tasks and, you know, like drink a lot of beer and have lots of parties and stuff. So that's the story of the movie Old School. It's a great movie. I think it came out around 2000 or 2005. It's about when I was in、uh, high school or just getting into college. And I bought the DVD. I watched that movie a bunch of times. It has a lot of famous comedians in it.、Um, and yeah, you should definitely check it out. So that's the first recommendation Old School the Movie. Okay. Second one is a sitcom show. And I'm just going to tell you the name it's called The Office. The Office. T H E O F F I C E. The Office. This is my all time favorite show. All time. I've I bought all of the DVDs. I watched all of the episodes multiple times, many times. I just love this show. So, what is it about? Okay, well, it's about this the people who work in a very normal, kind of boring office. Well, it's actually not a boring office because it's. The, the, it seems boring. You imagine the office is boring, you know, people are making copies, answering phones, kind of. It's really slow, too. Like, it's not like an exciting office. It's like kind of like the kind of a boring, normal office. But it's funny because the characters and the interactions, and especially the boss, the boss character is one of the best characters in all of TV, movies, et cetera. He, His name is Steve Carell, who is the actor. He's an amazing actor. He was a comedian,、uh, in, especially in The Office. He was doing this comedy sitcom. A sitcom, sorry, let me tell you about that first. A sitcom is a situational comedy, which means it's a real situation. It's not like stand up comedy, or in Japanese, you would say like manzai. It's not like that. It's the real situation. So, for example, Friends is the most famous sitcom. I'm sure you guys have watched that before, right? So, anyway,、um, this sitcom is called The Office. And one thing that's really funny is, of course, the boss. He's hilarious. He is really outgoing. And he's just, well, there's only one way to describe it stupid. <laughs> he, he's just not smart. <laughs>、um, but he has a lot of heart. And he,、um, He shows his emotion and he does stupid things. You know, he crashes his car. He, he says bad words in front of like customers. He does everything wrong that a boss could do. So he is the kind of funny, definitely the, the funny part of that show. And then the other characters are kind of reacting to him. There's other funny characters, but、um, some of them are more serious. But their reaction to the crazy boss is. What makes the show funny?、Um, so, yeah, that's the,、um, 
yeah, that's all time favorite、um, TV show. So you should check it out. It's called The Office. Okay, let's get two more recommendations. The next one is a talk show. And I'm going to recommend not the whole talk show, but I like a few different kind of parts of this talk show. So the show is called, I, I always forget the name, so I have to check. The Tonight Show Starring Jimmy Fallon. That's the title of the show. The Tonight Show Starring Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon is the guy, he's the host of the show, and he's a comedian. And The Tonight Show is like one of the biggest late night TV shows in America. And more recently, it's more like on YouTube. So you can watch the clips on YouTube. So what I do is I just watch the clips on YouTube, actually. I recommend. There's two different,、um, well, there's a few different kind of、uh, games or different、um, parts of the show that I like.、Um, one of them is called Pictionary. Another one is called, I think it's Truth and Lie. Yeah. So those are the two parts of the show that I like. And he doesn't have these parts all the time. Maybe once a week, he does these kind of parts or sections, even less, maybe once a month. It's very unpredictable. But when you search on YouTube, you can find the different types of games that he plays on the show. And I like these two Pictionary and Truth or Lie. So, Pictionary is when he gets a few famous people to play the game Pictionary with him. And Pictionary is a game where you pick a word and the other people don't know the word, and you have to draw on a board. The word, and they have to guess what it is. So, if it's like a hot dog, you have to draw a hot dog. That's pretty easy, right? I saw one, what was it, like a corn dog. He had to draw a corn dog. And, like, do you guys know what the meaning of corn dog is? In, in Japan, they call it a m e r i c a n dog, right? But in America, we say corn dog.、Um, it's easy to draw, but sometimes they try to draw the actual, like, word. So, They will draw a piece of corn or like the corn on the cob, and then they try to draw a dog, like an actual dog, like a r r t dog. And it's like too complicated to draw. So the other people are looking at it and they're like, Is that a dog? Is that a cat? Is that a lion? Like they, they just, they can't, you can't imagine what it could be. So, because some people are really bad at drawing. So, anyways, this is one show, sorry, one part of the show. Late Night, sorry, no, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. The other one I like is Truth and Lie. And what happens is each person writes one sentence that's true and one sentence that's a lie. And the other, I think it's usually two other people. So it's the host, Jimmy Fallon, and one of the guests and another guest, so like three people. So one person has to read their sentence and the other people have to decide if it's true. Or if it's a lie. And I've seen some really funny episodes of these where, you know, seeing the famous people having to make up a lie is really funny because, you know, they, they, they say, oh, I, ki- I think he, Jimmy Fallon said, I kissed Madonna or something. So you guys know Madonna, right? So he said, he kissed Madonna. And I, I can't remember if it was true or if it was a lie. You guys got to watch that episode. Search YouTube, Jimmy Fallon. Um, truth, true or lie, truth or lie. And、uh, I saw one with a really famous actor where he, he, almost, he, got, he almost got in trouble for a murder. Murder means killing someone. It, he didn't actually murder someone, but the police thought it could be him because he looked like the murderer. And so that was probably the funniest one I've seen because the people who were guessing, so Jimmy, And the other guests were trying to guess if it was true or if it was a lie. They were actually scared because they thought, oh, he could be the murderer. <laughs> and man, I think that, that part, like on YouTube, that video got like millions and millions of views. So it's really fun to check that out. Okay, so the show is called The Tonight Show Starring Jimmy Fallon. And I recommend the two parts Pictionary or Truth and Truth or Lie. Okay, final thing for today. I want to recommend a comedian. So, I talked about stand up comedy 
uh, with Sota in the bilingual episode、um, last week. So, stand up comedy is just one comedian with a microphone, you know, standing in front of the crowd and saying jokes. So, I recommend this comedian. His name is Sebastian Maniscalco. Difficult to spell, I know. It's S E B A S T I A N M A N I S C A L C O. I think I got that right. Sebastian Maniscalco. You have to check out this comedian. I chose him because he doesn't use a lot of bad words, he doesn't use too much like sexual humor or adult humor. He, he uses Observational humor about everyday things that anyone experiences. So, children,、um, parents,、um, college kids, whatever. He doesn't, you know, he's not like the saying like bad words and F word all the time and stuff. He's, he's very, you know, okay for anyone to watch. So, that's why I chose his、uh, comedy. Also, he speaks clearly and Um, yeah, he, he speaks loudly and clearly so you can understand、um, what he's saying. And what he does is he uses observational humor. Observational humor means he's, he's experiencing something, like, for example, he goes to the grocery store and he sees some funny things about like, how people act in the grocery store or what people buy or something. Kind of strange that he notices in the department store, or sorry, the grocery store. And then he makes jokes about it. And、uh, everyone can relate to what he's saying because, you know, everyone goes to the grocery store. We know how that is. And whenever you go to the grocery store, you know, you might see some strange people. You might, the, you might, someone might be buying something、uh, that you don't even know what it is, or someone falls down, or You know, people ask strange questions or whatever. It could be anything. But he, he is just really funny how you know, he explains the kind of simple things that everyone is kind of thinking. When, you know, for example, if they go to a grocery store, they probably think something strange or whatever. But he explains it very clearly, simply, and with just great, great personality. His,、um, the way he, he speaks, his intonation, and his, his, he's yelling and he's, you know, he's acting too. So,、um, yeah, I just love his, his comedy. You can see his、um, stand up comedy clips on YouTube if you search his name, Sebastian Maniscalco.、Uh, a few different of his stand up bits, the parts of his stand up show come up.、Uh, there's one about Uber, which is, you know, the ride. The ride sharing application. Everyone uses Uber, so everyone can understand his jokes about that. He does talk about a grocery store, Whole Foods. So if you've been to Whole Foods, you know it's a grocery store, but it's a little bit nice and kind of expensive. So he can make fun of the people who shop there or the different items they sell. It's like too expensive or whatever, you know. So I definitely recommend to check out、uh, Sebastian Maniscalco's stand up comedy. Okay, so we got four recommendations for comedy today. The first one was a movie called Old School. The second one was a sitcom called The Office. The third one was a talk show called, I always forget this one, The Tonight Show Starring Jimmy Fallon. And the last one was a stand up comedian named Sebastian Maniscalco. So, in order to watch these. Um, you know, this comedy and practice your English listening, you have to go onto YouTube and search for these four different comedy、um, things. But there should be a link on either our Facebook page or on this description with the link to either the YouTube video. Or the description of these four comedy things. Okay? So please try to look for them yourselves in Google or in YouTube. But if you can't, you can probably find the links. I'll try to post them either on Facebook or on the description here. Okay? 
All right, I think we're finished for today. That was really fun. I love comedy, movies, sitcoms, talk shows, stand up comedy. It's all amazing. So, it's a great way to improve your English listening. So, check out these four recommendations and comment which, which one do you like? Did you check the movie Old School? Did you check the sitcom? Especially check out Jimmy Fallon. Those are easy, those are quick. You could watch like a five minute clip on YouTube of Jimmy Fallon, Pictionary, or Truth or Lie. And finally, Sebastian Maniscalco's comedy. So if, if you liked it, if you couldn't understand, if you have any recommendations for comedy, please comment or go to our Daihonashi Eikawa Lesson hashtag on Twitter or on Facebook. Leave a comment. All right, guys, we did it. We finished. How was that? Let's enjoy comedy together and improve our English listening. Alrighty. Bye bye. <laughs>